here looks like a good spot. All right. <laughs> a little bit damaged. It's making some money. All right, guys. So yeah, just came by at the right time to see if we can try to catch this. And this is the uh, the uh, Thelma and Louise uh, Easter egg. And it's almost time. So 1852. So usually it's, it happens between 1900 and 2000 hours, which is uh, uh, between seven and eight o'clock. Okay, p.m. And we're going to see if we can catch it this time. Now, I've tried to catch it for you guys a couple times, and it happens so fast sometimes. Um, they drive off the cliff in, in a mariachi tornado. We'll get to that in a moment. And uh, it happens so fast sometimes. Right on this cliff right over here. There it is. Oh, there's a helicopter. Cops. And there's the mariachi tornado with Thelma and Louise in it. Or <laughs> the Thelma and Louise supposedly an Easter egg. So here we go. Just, this cop's trying to approach him. Yeah. They're gonna go. Oh no, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. No. Uh. <laughs> well, they'll be happy together. Oh, and there we down there. Usually it explodes, but sometimes it survives, as you can see. The helicopter's a little late to take off, isn't he? Oh, there it is, way down there. Oh, it's definitely toast this time. Oh, well, it is still running, isn't it? Oh, somebody made that to... Oh, no, didn't make it. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Which one was it? Thelma or Louise? Thought they were supposed to die together. This is what really happened, I guess, eh? Just fulfilling destiny, that's all. <laughs> so, that is the uh, Thelma and Louise Easter egg. All right, guys. So, yeah, I was here just the other day um, with uh, with our good friend Talizen from some of our earlier episodes, and uh, he, he was uh, talking about this, and I had forgotten all about it. So, yeah, so you can find that. Let's go to the map here. Uh, let's go over to our map. Okay, so zooming out, it's way up here in the uh, top left of the map. Okay, and it's on the uh, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness, is what it's called on the map. All right, and you can also know that because right over this ridge over here is the crazy camp right there. So that's where the, the nudist crazy camp is. You know, Trevor brings uh, victims and other stuff like that. It's a dangerous place to fly over, so a lot of people might know know what that is. Okay, and right over here is that bridge right over here that you drive over quite a bit. A lot of people recognize that. So let's have a look at that. That's a little landmark to help you know you're in the right area. See, right down there. It's a well-known bridge. All right, and there's that uh, cliff right there. All right, so another, uh, so this is a little Easter egg. It works in uh, invite-only sessions. It works on single player, I believe. And it also works in um, uh, the, uh, like, online, public, and invite-only. So any kind of a session, as far as I know, it works. Yeah. And it's a good way to get yourself uh, a uh, mariachi tornado. So we're going to go have a look at the one we got with uh, Talizen here the other day. We'll have a look at that footage, and, uh, and then we'll go to the mariachi tornado. Yeah and see if there's anything special at all about that. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you back in the office where I've got that car parked. So I just wanted to show you it in action because last time I took the car, um, as you're going to see, and uh, I wanted to see let you see what ha actually happens. All right, now a little side note before we uh, do head back to the office. Um, you know, if you do want to check out this Easter egg, it's generally recommended to do it in a helicopter or on foot like you just seen me from way over here. Okay? It's good to be there at the right time, which is uh, 7 to 8 o'clock. Or, yeah, 7 to 8 o'clock, which is uh, 1900 to 2000 hours, right? And uh, try not to look at it right at necessarily, because sometimes things don't spawn if you're staring right at it, so you might have to look away and then look back. Okay, now that said, when it does spawn, sometimes that car can drive off the edge really fast. Like, um, I actually had to record this, this was the third time, to actually show you guys. So, um, not that it was really hard or anything, it's, so on that note, it's very reliable. Every day, it generally happens, as long as you're in the right area and the right time and place. Okay, and I did want to make a few notes of that. Um, you do have to be in those right areas. Like, if you drove up here, uh, apparently it does not work. So you generally have to be in a, in a place like where I was. I'm not sure, though. There, there could be other spots like these peaks and these mountains down here. They might work um, for, for getting it to spawn, too. But I do know that spot right over there works very well. All right, let's go back and check out that uh, mariachi tornado. So he's driving over the cliff. All right, so this is the spot, eh? I wouldn't have guessed this spot, either. 
So which cliff am I looking at exactly? Oh, it's it's going to be over this way. It's over this way. Oh, and we're hiding until it's the right time, right? Yeah. And that would be right about now. Like the sun sets. So it's somewhere. No, oh, I see cops cars up there. Yeah. On the top right, yeah. Need to catch the car. I see helicopter, cop helicopter, two cruisers. I got her. There we go. Okay. Let's go get the car. <laughs> you killed them? <laughs> <laughs> I shot them. I'm not <laughs> doing it without you, Louise. I, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, your brain's all over the Oh my god. <laughs> That's one way the movie could end it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're not working. The GTA guys, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, officers, got it under control. <laughs> yeah. Be no suicides around here today. Should have been that easy. I got one that was at the bottom of the. She's uh, still alive. They're both still alive. They are. Yep. What are you doing? <laughs> I was going to jump out, but I didn't know if I should take the chance of that kind of a drop down there. Long way down. But yeah, they're both freaking out in the car. Somebody sniping us. The cops are like, what the fuck's going on? Keep your distance, officers. The guy is <laughs> under control. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, she could point the gun at her, but she might freak out. I'm here just in case the cops start freaking out. Oh, yeah, they're, they're not doing anything about it. They're just letting it happen. Oh, that's right. Uh, no witnesses. She should go down. <laughs> okay, so... I'll get this out of your way. We'll let her tell the story. Uh, how are we going to get the cops out of your way, though? Maybe I should run them over? That way I get started? Uh, well, I could always call Lester after they come after me, but as long as I can get away. Man, uh, those trees are broke. It doesn't even give it a name. Murachi Glossy Tornado. All these guys are just like walking up on me. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? I don't have any rockets. I'm unarmed. Oh, yeah, right. That's an unarmed buzzard. That's right. <laughs> 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 I think we're good and okay. clean. I, I don't know okay, what they're so doing. Here, I'll, I'll hop in with you. Oh, okay. I think they're just kind of checking out the body. Uh, Thelma, I guess. There we go. Oh, oh see oh, that? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I could just, like, knock it right off from here. Probably. Yeah, you're, like, literally going to be... That was close. Did you see that? It's, like, so close. Yeah. Uh, I can't push it. Oh, I wonder. Wait a Let's do this. She wants nah, to go. go. <laughs> She's hooked on something. I there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I guess the cops are satisfied. Yeah, they're happy everything worked out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah safe. <laughs> All right. How do we get down here? This way. Says a road, but is it a road? Is More it? like a train or a river. And then left or right? <laughs> left, probably. Yeah, left. Oh, it's damaged too already. I can hear that. Rattle in it. Or does it always rattle? Uh, mine did, but mine was at the bottom of the chasm. Oh. <laughs> like, I, I missed, so I had to go down to get them. They're still flopping around in the seats. <laughs> <laughs> Locked up, oh. finished him off. Took the car. I didn't think too much of that worked in the online. A lot of it single player, yeah, but not in online. That's cool. Yeah. All right, everybody. So here is my mariachi tornado right here. Just got it out just to show you. Let's bring it back to the second car garage here. So the plate there, unfortunately, you can't change your plates as far as I've been able to tell. So far, my iFruit app will not let me uh, bring up the plates. So, you know, unfortunately, I can't seem to change the to a custom license plate or anything like that. Unfortunately. Yeah. 
let's take it into our mod shop here. Now, unfortunately, with the Mariachi Tornado, now this is just a regular tornado, but as I said, it's known as the Mariachi Tornado. Let's have a look. Oh, actually, yeah, well, we can look at our mod shop, right? Yeah, let's go there. Better look there. What's she need then? Well, unfortunately, you can't give it much for some reason. You can modify a supercar, but you can't modify this. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys can see in the top left, there is no real options for this, just loss and theft prevention. So we can click on that, and uh, just from parking it in your garage, you get the tracker automatically for free, or you can buy one if you just stole it. But otherwise, you can just bring it into your garage and you get a tracker for free. And then I bought uh, the, uh, the insurance for it, which is just $3,700, so cheap insurance. And then you can get it replaced if, uh, if anything ever happens to it. Um, yeah, if you don't want to get yourself another one. Okay, so unfortunately, that's about all the options. And as I was saying, I tried to bring up the uh, bring it up in the iFruit app, and it will not let me change these license plates, even in the iFruit app. Now, let me know if you guys get lucky with it, but basically, this car doesn't seem to want to show up in the iFruit app for me to order a new license plate for it. Unfortunately, yeah. So let's just hop it. So yeah, I wanted to show that Thelma and uh, Louis Easter egg because it's a good, reliable way of getting this vehicle. It's something interesting to see. Um, it's a very reliable Easter egg. It happens pretty much every day as long as you're there in the right time. You know, the uh, the 1900 to 2000 hours, and uh, then you can get your hands on one of these cars. They do spawn in other parts of the map, so other people know that they're kind of random that way. Though, as far as I know, there's no guaranteed place other than the one I just found, the Thelma and Louise one. Um, but there are other places on the map where they will randomly show up with the mariachi uh, uh, band players. You know, the, um, the they have uh, sombreros like this one in the back, but they're usually like black with uh, white pom-poms on them in the uniform. A few places on the map where you can see them. Yeah. But otherwise, people like this car because uh, it's just a fairly unique vehicle. Some people like to collect the, the more unique, rarer, but I don't want to call it rare, but rarer vehicles in the game. Um, it has two guitars in the back. It has some hats in the back. It also has a bottle of tequila right there. See that? Bottle of tequila right there in between the seats. So that's kind of cool. So some different all things, and otherwise it's just a little Peter. Yeah, and it works for other things like you can have prostitutes in the car and things like that if you're if you wanted to do that. So you know, not all um, unique vehicles or service vehicles or things like that let you. For instance, uh, even though it's a convertible, the convertible part of it does not work. So this is broken; does not work or do anything. But thankfully, the rest of it seems functional, as it is. And as far as I know, you can't bring it into Benny's either. It doesn't even let you. So very unfortunate. But, you know, it's a unique vehicle for those people that are interested in different vehicles or want to show your friends something different. You can show them this, the Mariachi Tornado. No, the nicknamed Mariachi Tornado. <laughs> yeah, I should say, uh, officially it's just a tornado. But most people know it as the Mariachi Tornado. And you can also usually tell it by this rusty red paint job. There is a rusty uh, silver or gray paint job, but that's not the same vehicle. When you get up close, you'd be able to tell, obviously. But but it's only, it only comes in this one shade, unfortunately, and you can't even give it a paint job. Yeah, too bad. But a different vehicle to see, and a different Easter egg. Alright everybody, well thanks for watching. I am the Missing Sock, and we'll see you again very, very, very soon for another episode. I just thought I'd uh, show that little off-topic one, and a different way you can get your hands on one of those, and see something different. Yeah. Alright. I gotta watch some TV. <laughs> yeah, take care everybody. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Nine times better. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Sweet beans and bacon, that's good. Welcome back. Sorry, I was just finishing a refreshing lager.